Greetings and Shalom, Israelites and Gentiles alike, blessings and peace, given honor to the Most High and the Holy Spirit and the Begotten Son. Today we're going to go briefly and talk over the commandments of God. We've been told in times past that the law is done away with. Nevertheless, let's see what Christ has to say in Matthew. The book of Matthew. Is a book known by theologians, the unknown author. However, this is a book that goes over Christ's ethical teachings. So we shall start in Matthew 5 and verse 1. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain and when he was set his disciples came unto him and he opened his mouth and he taught them saying blessed are the poor in spirit for theirs is the kingdom of heaven blessed are they that mourn for they shall be comforted blessed are the meek for they shall inherit the earth blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. You, my brother or sister, are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. You, my brother or sister, are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel but on a candlestick and it giveth light unto all that are in the house let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven think not that I come to destroy the law think not that I come to destroy the law Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law to all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. We can see that 
coming up in the 70s and the 80s within school they had the Ten Commandments written in school though there still was school violence school gunshots it wasn't as frequent and prevalent in today's society we see that leaving God's law out of life brings chaos and destruction we also can see that things in this world has a written law there is law properties in water there is law properties in the air there is law properties in fire there's even law properties in love However, God's law is written in everything and I don't think, or better yet, we know in verse 17 that he said in Matthew 5, 17, think not that I am come to destroy the law. Now going into another book to expound a little bit on this law. We're going to go to 1 John 5 1 through 3. 1 John, a book attributed to Apostle John, addresses the issue of heresy and false teachings. Something that we're addressing today that we see where some ministers and theologians and professors have said the law is done away with so let's see what John says whosoever believeth that Jesus is the Christ is born of God and everyone that believeth him also that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and keep his commandments. For this is the love of God that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. I believe when we make God's commandments grievous, we are wrestling to and fro of men's traditions. Men's traditions would be a part two to this. But however, let's focus on keeping God's law. If we don't know it, Or to those who don't know God's law. You can read them in the Old Testament. However, we will go over that on another later time. But let's go to 2 John. Second John 1 John 1.6 And it says, and this is love, that we walk after his commandments. What is love? And this is love, that we walk after his commandments. This is the commandment that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye shall walk in it. And one more scripture, just to all those non-believers, or shall I say, believers, but don't believe in following God's commandments. See, it's impossible to be in a relationship with someone 
can't respect that individual's rules of engagement. How does a person like for you to engage with them in today's society? I would say you engage with me, engage with me with respect, love, peace, joy. Anything other and outside of that brings chaos and I won't deal. So when one truly says they have a relationship with Christ or they have a relationship with the Most High, then they must understand the commandment. For how can one have a relationship with one that they have not seen but can't first learn to understand to love their brother or sister who they do see. So we are in Revelation 22 and 14. And I am going there. Give me a second. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. No, I think that says, blessed are they that believe, right? No, I'm seeing it right here. It says, Blessed are they that do his commandments that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. So my brothers and sisters, I leave with you this. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all of his righteousness. In part two, we'll go over the laws, what we can and can't follow. And we will also go over the name of the Most High and the name of of Jesus Christ and we will briefly touch the name and who is the Holy Spirit God bless love you and Shalom